Hello there, fellow YouTubers. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's surviving the corona situation. Uh, if you're a YouTube content creator like I am, then probably a good thing to be inside and punching out videos, right? And not infecting other people or trying not to get infected yourself, whatever the case might be. Um, I think I've got a really interesting video for you this time. I stumbled onto a piece of software called Multicam Capture. It's made by Corel Corporation. So with no further ado, let's jump in and take a look and see what this baby can do. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a software program called Multicam Capture. And it is made by Corel Corporation. They used to make Corel Draw way back when. They make a whole bunch of other good stuff now. But uh, I stumbled onto this program by accident because I've been searching for um, a program that would allow me to make videos using multiple webcams um, and to see, you know, find something that I could use. And I know OBS does it. I have OBS. I've tested it. But you have to open sessions, and it's a little more uh, complex than what I was looking for. I wanted something that was really clean. So what you're looking at is multicam capture. And to, to purchase it, um, just be aware that Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 23 um, is the main program that this uh, multicam capture comes with. Um, if you can buy the multicam capture separately, but it's only like a light version and it only allows you to capture your screen and one other input, which to me was useless. I wanted to capture two webcams and an audio track um, in addition to my screen. And so what you're going to see is exactly that. So this is the floating palette to start your recording. So I'll just move it out of here or move it away so you can uh, have a better sense of how it works and so before i i forget anything let's set set up the cameras and we'll start recording so right now i've selected my top down view and let's see here get that straightened out a bit so i've selected the c920 and i've disabled the audio 1920 by 1080 i'm uh codec is mjpeg and you've got some good settings here some picture settings you know, all your brightness, contrast, saturation, all that good stuff, you know, like you would have in, in many programs. Under the control dial here, this is very useful. So, for example, you can zoom in or out. I think I've got that camera max zoomed out. And I think it's, let me uh, just jump over here to the 930. And that would give you a better example. So, let's see here, zoom. So on that, yeah, that's that's much better. You can see the whole studio there. We'll just zoom back in. And then if you have a need to do pan, or you have a need to do tilt, you have all that functionality uh, with this program. Let's go one more. There we go. And so now I've got my camera set. So this is my screen recording up here. This is my C930E, which is direct straight on. And this one up here is my C920, which I've got overhead. And then you can name your project, select the, click the folder here to determine where the files are going to be recorded to. And then we'll just hit the record button. And kind of like Camtasia, you get a 3, 2, 1 countdown. And then um, away you go. You're recording away. So we're just going to do a short uh, recording here. So let's just jump back to settings. And now I could even record a third webcam. Like this one here, I've got it de uh, deactivated, which is the uh, camera that's built into my Dell laptop here. But uh, I've got a piece of tape over it, and I don't really need it at the moment. So, um, But as, as far as doing your setup, that's really all there is to it. So let's uh, go to the next step here. Let's stop the recording okay and so what happens now is it's generated move files and so the one trick to this is that Camtasia uh, won't allow me to bring MOV files into uh, Camtasia so that's an easy fix all you do is just click on it change OV to P4 so it's an MP4 do you want to change it? P4. There we go. Okay, so we've got our file saved. Now I can come over to the Camtasia recorder here. And I can click stop and we'll go from there. 
Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm going to show you where the rubber hits the road. And what I'm going to do, I'm just here in Camtasia. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And let's go right to the end of the track here. And what I want to draw your attention to is that, so the whole idea behind this thing is to be able to capture multiple camera captures, right? So we have the C920, and I can bring that down, put it on the timeline. I can do my screen, but you're looking at the screen here, so I don't think we need that one. <laughs> and so let's just move over. Bring this into view. And I'll bring the screen down just for argument's sake, so nobody's saying I'm leaving it out. And so let's start with this one. So in this case, we want to flip it right side up and just shove it to one side and then here's my uh, C930 my head-on view and I can bring this over here <clears throat> and we can bring this up okay so now what you can see is my screen capture view in the background um, I wanted to clean this up now that I've got the right side up and I can bring this over like so so there's my top-down view you know in 1080p beautiful gorgeous 1080p <laughs> and then I can take uh, the head-on view right and blow it up a little bit do whatever you want to do with it and the wide view can crop out this uh, bottom taskbar if we want we can stretch that down a little bit but so the whole uh, crux of this is that you've got an easy way now to capture multiple screen captures bring them into whatever ever editing tool that you're using and uh, you know I could have brought these into Adobe Premiere Final Cut Pro you name it uh, just depends on what you prefer to use but um, I don't think it gets any easier than this uh, so far. So if you're someone that's looking to do multiple cam capture and you don't have a bunch of DSLRs, like normally I'd record my, um, my intro with a Sony camera sitting just off right here. And, I, you know, I've got it on a tripod, but, you know, that's expensive. A Sony A6000 is uh, just probably six or $700 at the time of this recording anyways. So if you want to do something less expensive, you want to use Logitech webcams, now you have a way to do it multi-cam capture and it's made by Corel Corporation give it a try okay so I hope you found this video uh, interesting um, and I hope it wasn't too convoluted there I know I had a lot of palettes open on the screen at the same time but if you're a video production person you're probably used to that anyways um, and just a you know full disclosure here um, Corel didn't send me this software um, this is something that I purchased and you know unfortunately I had to buy the Pinnacle Ultimate 23 to get the multicam capture but for you know the programs on sale now for 109 bucks that's you really can't go wrong with that one but uh, anyways long story short I hope you enjoyed the video if you have questions don't forget to connect in and uh, by all means hit the subscribe and like button that helps me out I really appreciate it it's no cost to you and uh, stay safe eh uh, you know be careful with this corona stuff this is uh, no joke so we look forward to seeing you in the next one take care now